لكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثات بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد أصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله فاتقوا الله عباد الله واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآية وذكر الحكيم أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله العظيم الجليل لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذم فاستغفره إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد one of the most interesting things that we find in the Quran is that there is a repetition of concepts and in a way it's a way of emphasizing any given concept for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us uh, in the Quran about the life of the hereafter why does he mention it a lot well as human beings we have a tendency of overindulging in the affairs of this dunya for example things such as cars houses money we overintended that we put things that uh, in the dunya before Allah so that's why Allah mentions about this in a constant reminder during Salah, during Dua, um, during Dhikr. This is what we remember. We remember Allah. So today, inshallah, I'll be talking about the consciousness of Allah, also known as Taqwa. <coughs> Khawf is a perceived danger that every human being feels when they're in danger. For example, let's say you were out on a camping trip and a bear was chasing you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ But as for him who feared his Lord standing before him, re restrained himself from e evil desires and loss, the human being does, um, um, is, uh, a human being is uh, very scared of things such as this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayah that if you, um, he says that the person does not fear his Lord, but standing before his Lord he fears. So that's why he restrains himself from evil desires and lusts. <clears throat> it is only those who have knowledge who among his slaves that fear Allah. Taqwa is the most common word used for fear. It is from it comes from the root wuqai, which means to shield yourself or to protect yourself. Taqwa is to protect yourself from the consequences of your own actions, it implies self-restraint and um, adorning yourself to good deeds. If um, It is to protect yourself in two ways, to abandon sin and to adorn yourself with good deeds because you fear the punishment of Allah. Allah says in the ayah of Hajj, وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَىٰ and take a provision with you because, because the best provision is a taqwa. I would like to finish off with a hadith. A person once asked the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, O Sini, O Ya, ya Rasulullah, give me some advice. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied Usika bi taqwa Allah fa inna hu ra'sul amri kullihi I advise you to fear Allah because it is the best of provision and it is the head of everything. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us the tawfiq to be conscious of Allah and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala um, make us realize that the things in this dunya um, are going to be destroyed one day and there's no point of putting things upon the creator who created all of this so inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, give us the tawfiq to uh, do this and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our parents I mean and may we take this into accountability and inshallah um, you have benefited from my speech I mean assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh MashaAllah, one of our goals and objective of Peace Home Learning Centre is to train our students to give khutbah in Arabic and MashaAllah we have in our syllabus the Arabic language. We want our students when they are reciting or when they are praying the namaz to understand what is being said to understand the language of the hadith and alhamdulillah our students were in alim class they 
mashallah giving speech and I'm sure most of the parents and students know this program called Touching Minds. If you don't know, if you go to YouTube, you will you'll be able to see our students, also Muhaymin. They come here, they learn Deen, and they spread this message, not only in this country, in different parts of the world, this program is being watched. And mashallah, I feel proud, our institute also feels proud and we're very happy and we will still want to encourage mashallah our students they are doing wonderful work so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and give us the ability to be steadfast in this noble cause maktab 1b is completed we would like to now proceed to maktab class 1c can have such other come forward please she will say Surah Masad and also a dua entering the masjid. Allah, 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 
لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا أبده ورسوله السلام عليكم My name is Aliza How do you say it? اللهم بسك أموت واحيا السلام عليكم My name is Isa I'm reciting Seven Players of Islam I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I believe in angels. I believe in books of Allah. I believe in messengers of Allah. I believe in fate. I I believe life after death. I believe day of judgment. Good and bad. Can we have please Nashida from Sanjeeda and Hiba?
My name is Hasiba Janna and I will be reciting Surah Humaza and Leaving Home. My name is Zakia. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zakia Ahmed and I will be reciting Surah Feel and Breaking Fast Work. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alam taro kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabid feel. Alam yaja'al kaydahum fi tatbeel. Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababeel. Talmihim bi hijaratim min sijjeel. Faja'alahum ka aslim. اللهم لك سمت وبك أمنت وعلى رزقك أفطرت ولا أبذف فيا أنا أبليف أن أنا أبرز لفاس الدسست المفيد بالي. We have completed Maktab level two. Before we proceed to Maktab level three. Uh, if I can simply request our students very quietly, without thinking, can you stand up 
Inshallah, I will be reciting Surah Mul. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Tabaraka Alladhi Biyadihi Al Mulku Wa Huwa Ala Kulli Shayin Qadeer Alladhi Khalaq Al Mawt Wa Al Hayat Al Yabluwakum Ayyukum Ahsanu Amala وهو العزيز الغفور 
الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فرجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم رجع البصر كرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاسئا وهو هسير ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وجعلناها وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين وأعتدنا لهم عذاب السعير وللذين كفروا بربهم عذاب جهنم وبئس المصير إذا ألقوا فيها سمعوا لها شهيقا وهي تفور تكاد تميز من الغيظ كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم خزنتها فوج سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسحقا لأصحاب السعير ما شاء الله If I can call out Hassan Ahmed, Akif Yusuf, Abdullah Muhammad, Yasin Alam, Ya 
Oh Allah, how just you are, Lord of all is you, Allah. We are at your service, Lord, by Allah. You are one, you have no partner. Peace of Allah and blessings of Allah. Be on Muhammad Rasulillah. Peace of Allah and blessings of Allah. Be on Muhammad Habibillah. Salatullah, Salamullah, ala Rasulillah. Salatullah, Salamullah, ala Yasin Habibillah. Salatullah, Salamullah, ala Yasin Habibillah. Ilahi najina wakshif. جميع عدية وصرف مكاعد العدا والتف بأحل البدر يا الله مكاعد العدا والتف بأحل البدر يا الله صلاة الله سلام الله على طه رسول الله Salatullah, salamullah, ala yasin habibillah. Salatullah, salamullah, ala yasin habibillah. Ilahi nafisi al-qurba, min al-asin wal-arba, wa kulla baliyyati wa waba, biyahli al-badri ya awwa. وكل بلية ووبا بأهل البدر يا أوه صلاة الله سلام الله على طه رسول الله صلاة الله سلام الله على ياسين حبيب الله صلاة الله سلام الله على ياسين حبيب الله Assalamualaikum. Now proceed to Maktab Level Three. Boys, class, and they have Razim Ahmed. I back Aryan Yusuf Hamza Uddin Inayat Rahim come forward. Shatul Iman. 
پیوجی اسحاق و ویمان حدیث ای قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لا یؤمنو آہتکم حتی یحب بلی اقیہی ما ہی بلی نفسی نبی بلی ونسلی اللہ صلی اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حدیث نائم قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم من حسن اسلام المرئی ترکہو ما لا یعنی A sign of good man's observance is to keep, of Islam is to keep away of which does not concern him. Hadith 10. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man yad man li ma bayna lahiyayhi ma bayna rijlayhi ad man lahu al jannat. Why do you think guarantee was between his two jubbles and was between his two legs as guarantee paradise for him? I didn't know we had Bohadji living in Sydney, inshallah. Um, well done, you know, learn, learn more hadith, yes? You learn more hadith, mashallah. <laughs> My name is Ayabak and today I will be saying Kadif to um, and commentary. Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Akmalul mu'minina imanan ahsanuhum khuluqan um, the most perfect believer is he who is best of them in manners. A believer always strives to become better in his faith. One can do that by gaining knowledge, increasing in righteous deeds, and, as learned from this hadith, perfecting one's manners. What is meant by manners is that we should um, be treated, treat others the way we would want to be treated by others. Um, our treatment of all people, Muslim or non-Muslims, <laughs> and even animals must be exemplary. Good manners are appreciated by people and people like to be close to people with good manners. People stay away from those who have bad manners. May Allah give us all, make us all have good manners. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa my name is Mustafa Arun Yusuf and today inshallah I will be saying a hadith the meaning and the explanation. Hadith 6. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once said, Al-Hayaw shu'batun min al-Imani. Modesty is a branch of faith. Commentary. Our faith is not restricted to having beliefs and praiseworthy actions of the heart only. Our branches of faith are numerous and can either be actions of the heart, actions of the heart, actions of the limb, or statements of the tongue. The Prophet ﷺ said, Iman has over 70 branches, or approximately over 60 branches, the uppermost of which is the declaration. None has the right to be worshipped by Allah, and the least of which is the removal of a harmful object from the road. And modesty is a branch of Iman. Shyness is a praiseworthy quality that comes with such good. It preserves a person's dignity and honor. Pro Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was described as being shyer than a newly married person on the wedding night. Assalamu Alaikum. May Allah Ta'ala preserve our honor. Ameen. Assalamu Alaikum. And we have now Umar Ali, Yasin Alam, and Abdullah Muhammad. Inshallah, they will present to us conversation in Arabic.
Welcome to our Masjid Peace Home Learning Centre. Assalamu alaikum. Ya, start. Peace be upon you, old student. Peace be upon you, old student. What is your name? It's me, Omar. My name is Omar. Where are you from? I am Milan, Japan. I am from Japan. <laughs> How are you, oh, Omar? I am Bikari, Alhamdulillah. I am very good. Um, all praise due to Allah. Where is Omar from? Who are Milan Hind? He is from India. Where is Abbas? Karaja. He went out. Where could he have gone? Zahba ila al mudir Sheikh Taj al Islam. Sheikh Taj al Islam. Where is your uncle Sheikh Isa? Who are married? He is in the hospital and he is ill. May Allah cure him. Inshallah. If Allah wills. What do you intend to be when you are older? I read an imam. I want to be an imam. Oh, what mother you read in film mustakbil? And what do you intend to be when you're older? I want to be a doctor. And we have now Maktab level 3 boys, they will be reciting Quran. Can we have Aryan Yusuf come forward, Razim Ahmed, Aybak Rehan Ahmed, Safwan Alam, Muhammad Bilal, Ali Hamza Uddi, Naim Mahmood, Inayat Rahim, Zaki Ismail, Naim Ali and Azhar Mia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, I'll be reciting the first five ayahs of Surah Kahf. Makiyah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan al-wajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman. قَيِّمًا يُنْذِرَ بَاسًا شَدِيدًا لَذُنْهُ وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّا مَجْنَ حَسَنًا مَا كِيْتِنَا فِيهِ أَبَدًا وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّلَى اللَّهُ وَلَدَأَ مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عَلْمِ وَلَا لِأَبَائِهِمْ كَبْرَتْ كَلِمَتَا تَحْرُجُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ إِنْ يَقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nazim Ali Nur Ahmed. Today I will recite for Abayz al-Bakhra. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alif laam meen. Thalika al-kitabu la reyba fi. Hudan lil muttaqeen. Al-lazina yu'minuna bil ghaybi wa yikimuna al-salat. وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْآخِرَاتِ هُمْ يُعْقِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَى هُدَمْ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِهُونَ صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zabak and I'm going to do the first seven ayats of Surah A'la. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غساء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم my name is Ryan and I will be reciting the first and arts of Surah Balad Rafil in Makkah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim La Uqasimu Bihada Al-Balad Wa Untahillum Bihada Al-Balad Wa Walidu Wa Ma Walad Laqad Khalaqana Al-Insana Fi Kabad أيسب أن لن يره أحد ألم نجعل له عينين ولسانا وشفتين وحديناه النجدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Muhammad Bilal Ali, and today, inshallah, I will be reciting Surah Humaza, Makia, revealed in Mecca. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل حمزة النمزة الذي جمع ما له وعدده كلا لا يمزن يحسب أن ما له أخلده كلا لا يمزن في الحتمة وما أدراك ما الحتمة نار الله المكدة التي تطالع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مقصدة في أمد ممتدة صدق الله العلي العظيم My name is Naim. Today I will be reading Surah Makia. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab. Ma agna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab. Sayyusla nawran zat alahab. Wa mraatku hamalat alhatab. في جيتها حبل من مصد
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Asamia. I will be reciting Surah Al-Makiya, revealing Makkah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدكم في تدليل وأرسل عليهم كيف نبأين ترميهم بحجارة من سجين فجعلهم فأسف المأكول صدق الله العظيم Assalamu alaikum. My name is Myra and I'm going to be singing in a sheet. Ramadan has come and gone. Eid has done upon us. Thank you, Allah, for this blessing day. It's a time of happiness, a time of joy. Thank you, Allah, for this blessing day. Eidun Saidun, Yawun Fahanun, Yawun Jamilun, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saidun, Yawun Jamilun, Yawun Fahanun, Eidun Saeed, all over the world, under the big blue sky, Muslims unite to worship Allah. It's a time of brotherhood, a time of peace. Muslims are singing praises to Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. Families are gathering, remembering Allah, and that His love is the greatest by far. All praise for you, Allah, all thanks to you. The joy of Eid comes only from you. Eidun Saeedun, Yawun Fahanun, Yawun Jameelun, Eidun Saeed. Eidun Saeedun, Yawun Jameelun, Yawun Fahanun, Eidun Saeed. This day of rejoicing, this day of peace, did only you make for those who believe. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Eidun Saeedun, Yawmun Fahanun, Yawmun Jameelun. Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeedun, Yawmun Jameelun, Yawmun Fahanun, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeedun, Yawmun Fahanun, Yawmun Jameelun, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeedun, Yawmun Jameelun, Yawmun Fahanun, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeed, Eidun Saeed. Mashallah. Can we have Mak Maktab level 3 girls class? They will be reciting Quran. Aisha Hussein, Sara Hussein, Satya Tahseen, Zainab Ahmed, Saima Akta, and Jumana Rob. Students, can you face me? Can you face the front? Face the front. And no talking because the Quran is being recited now. We are not allowed to talk when the Quran is being recited. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aisha. I will be reciting Surah Al Insha. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك 
وإذا النجوم انكدرت وإذا ال... وإذا الإشار أكلت وإذا البهار سجرت وإذا الوحوش خشرت وإذا ال... وإذا ال... وإذا القبور بؤثرت وإذا القبور علمت نفس ما أهضرت فلا أقسم بالخناس الجوار الخناس والليل إذا أحسس والصبح إذا تنفس إنه لقول رسول كريم في قوة إمداد ذي العرش مكين مؤت إن ثم أمين وما صاحبكم بمجنون ولقد رآه بالأفق المبين وما السلام عليكم ماني مسانا عرب وسايتي سورة تفكيري مكية إن شاء الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدين والزيتون وطور الزينين وهذا البلد العمين لقد حلقنا الإنسان في أسن تقوين ثم رأدناه أسفل سافين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يقدر بعد بسي وليس الله بأحكم الحاكم قدف الله العظيم ما شاء الله Our Maktab level 3 girls class has been completed. They've completed the Quran recitation. We will now finish part one of our program, of our Madrasa program, and we will be going for a very short break, three minutes break, where we can just refresh ourselves. And inshallah, part two of this program will start after three minutes. Jazakumullah khairan. Please make sure you are not running around because you can see there's lots of wires. You can, you can, you have to move. Three minutes. Okay, come here, come here. I'll interview. What's your name? Ismail. Do you like it today? Don't worry, don't worry. I need to ask you something. Stay there, stay there. I need to ask a question. I need to ask a question. Stand up, yeah? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Answer me, okay? What's your name? Ismail. Ismail. Who's your teacher? What's your teacher's name? Ustad. Ustad what? Mashallah, okay. Can you say the same thing as the surah? Mashallah. And you come as well? What's your name? Tayyip. Okay, look at there. Your mom come. You can watch on TV later on. Okay, ready? Let me put it down. Let me get you in your size. Let me get in your size. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit short. You're not a little bit short. You're right. Go here. Come here. Good man. Good man. Let me put the lights here. And you can see properly. What's the name? Sain. Hi. 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 Your nice name, by the way. Battle name. Okay. Tell me, what story are you going to tell me today? Go. Fakul for Allah, we had. Mashallah, you're a good top man. Hosan Kalima Tayyiba. Hosan 
Mashallah. Very good boy. Who's next? Come on. Come here, come here. I know you've got, you got nice, your nice thingy. You know when you recited there? What did you recite there? Uh, I recited Surah Phil. Phil, what's your name? Asfar. Do you know any other Surahs? Mm, yeah. Go on then, give me a nice Surah. Surah Phil. Say Bismillah. 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 I don't want to do it. Come on, come on. Who's next? You on TV, your live TV. Come. Come, come. Who wants to be live TV? Live TV. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Saima. Saima. Nice name. Saima. 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 Welcome. Tell me what you're going to tell me today. Are you enjoying today? Do you like your stud? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So tell me about tell me what story you can tell me today. Surah Quraysh, go on then. Allah Zia to Amahum. Wa Amanahum. Mashallah, good girl. Who's next? Come on. Yellow. Yellow man. Yellow man, come. Stand at the back. Stand behind that. Go back. Back, 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 back. Okay. okay. Are you twins? Oh, mashallah. What's your name? Say. What's your name? Khalifa. Khalifa, and you? Hudaifa. Mashallah. Okay. Well, how old are you now? Hey, huh? shh, don't touch it. What, how, five, what's that? Five. Five? All right. So you know five surahs then? Or you know more than that? You know more than that? Okay, give me a surah. Give me a surah. Go on. You don't know. You came here to walk. Give me a surah, go on. You don't know your surah? You know one to like Do you know that? You know Kaliwa Taiwa? No! He came here to watch! Alright! So I could That's no him. problem. That's no problem. Um, okay. Okay, be careful guys. Be careful. Okay, come here, come here. Come here. I need to talk to you. You're you're in live now, you're in live, your mum watching you. Your mum watching you, right? Your mum watching you. What's your name? Ismail. Ismail. Mashallah, you're a big man. You're a big man, don't touch it. You're a big man, do you know that? Okay, Ismail, give me surah. Give me surah. Alhamdulillah, this is surah Fattah. Okay everyone, let us come back to our sitting place. Everyone, please come back. MashaAllah, you're a top man. Two. You're a top man. Come and sit closer. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, everyone. I request everyone to focus and listen. 
Can I have Zahra to come forward and recite Surah Ar-Rahman? Can we have next ayat? We'll be reciting Surah Fatiha. And can we have Safwan, Naeem, Nehan, Nadia, and Alicia to come forward, please? Thank you, Allah. Thank you. 
Can I have um, Ayan Usman Shadri? class they will be saying Okay, we will now move to Alima girls class. Alima girls class, inshallah, they will do speech. We will have Satya Begum, Tasnim Islam, Anika Begum. They will speak in Day of Judgment. Then we'll have the second group, Nuha Begum, Fatih Haridwana, Khadija Siddiqa. They will be talking about Sabah, Patience. Then we'll have the third group, Sama, Sumaya Mu'min, Maria, and Nuha Ahmed. They'll talk about good character. Inshallah, Ustaz Munir and Sima will conduct um, our, uh, the speeches. Sudhya Begum, Sunaya Hussein, Tasneem Hussein, Taslima, they will talk about repentance. And Sadia Ahmed, Habiba, Mashud Alam, they will talk about Laylatul Qadr. Can 
we have the first group ready to start. Sadia Begum, Tasnim Islam, Anika Begum. Humul Qiyamah, Day of Judgment. Can we have group one to be ready? For we will move to boys class, Alim class, who will be giving the speech. Can we have please? Akib Yusuf to come forward, inshallah, he will talk about miracle of Quran. Akib Yusuf. Honorable guests and dignified brothers and sisters of Islam, let me begin with a universal greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank Allah for giving us the opportunity to, to be here in this masjid. I would also like to send my salah and salam to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the latest but the greatest prophet. It is a privilege to be part of his Ummah. My name is Mustafa Akib Yusuf, and today I'll be talking about the miracles of the Quran, the last revelation from the Creator to his creation. First of all, before we move on to the main part of my speech, we need to make clear what a miracle really is. A miracle is something that is so inexplicable by the laws of nature that it is held supernatural in its origin or an act of God. In basic words, when we say something is a miracle, what we are trying to say is that it is so divine, it is out of this world. Therefore, when we say that the Quran is a miracle book, what we are really trying to say is, is that it is so divine that the information displayed in the Quran cannot be found in any other uh, information that we can access. Since I have not much time to go through all of the miracles of the Quran, I will list a few for your consideration. First of all, the Quran is a literary masterpiece. What we mean is that because the Quran's contents is so rich, no other human being or species can make a book such like this. <laughs> to prove this, Allah actually has challenged this in the Quran 1500 years ago, and 1500 years later, the challenge still remains intact. Another miracle is if the, Quran, if the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was illiterate, how could he deliver such a huge revelation? Here are some other miracles that you might not know about. The Big Bang Theory. The Quran states that the universe began from nothing and keeps on expanding and planets and, and, planets and stars orbit their respective paths. The origin of life. Scientists lately have discovered that life came from water trapped in ancient rocks. 
However, many, many years ago, the Quran, the Quran said, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ مِنَ الْحَيْءِ And from water we have created every living thing. The, the, last, the last miracle I can talk about is the consequence of Fir'aun. Allah said in the Quran that the corpse of Fir'aun would be preserved so that people could see what would happen if they go against Allah. Hundreds of years later, the mummified corpse of Fir'aun was found. There are many other miracles I could talk about, but I can't since, since there is no time. My whole speech proves that the Quran is a book of Allah and there is nothing to be dubious about. Alhamdulillah, I finished my speech. May Allah grant us the opportunity to learn and understand the Quran so that we may be successful in our daily lives. Asalaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. MashaAllah. Can we have please Hamza Ali to come forward, inshallah, we speak about harms of sins. Okay, we will we'll move to Alima Girls Class, Sadia Begum, Taslim Islam, Anika Begum. They will give a speech on the Day of Judgment. Jazakallah khairan. Hamza, would you like to come forward? My name is Muhammad Hamza Ali and today I will be talking about the harms of sin. So we clearly know that sins are actions that go against the boundaries of Allah that go past his rules and regulations he had set for us in this dunya. Sins can reduce our reward, 
or um, change our fate in the hereafter and surprisingly decrease our lifespan or how long we live for. People can live shorter due to the consequence of sin. But do we know other consequences and harms of sin? What they do to us and what they do to the effect, like to the people who commit them. This is what I'll be talking about today. The first harm of sin is that the sinner is prevented from obtaining knowledge. Knowledge is not something you gain by memorizing and reading a lot of information. It is a light that Allah Ta'ala has put in the hearts of those who believe and do righteous deeds. This light can be darkened or extinguished if we do bad and haram sins. And Allah does not give this light to those who um, do sins and commit them. So this is why we must um, seek the taqwa of Allah and make sure we protect this light and guard this light. Another harm of sin is that if the sinner is prevented from obtaining wealth, this could be the money he makes from earning and making, as well as everything and everything Allah has written for him. The Prophet ﷺ said, he says, have taqwa of Allah and seek it out beautifully and do not let the delay of your provisions make you seek it out in what Allah has prohibited. For what is with Allah cannot be attained without his um, obedience. So we... So we must not forget that Allah has allowed us to have what we have and Allah can take away what we have at any time, which is why we must seek the protection of Allah from obtaining sins. Thank you for listening to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Can we have press to come forward? So we'll move to, sorry, girls, Alima class, group two, Nuha Begum, Fatiha Ridwana, and Khadija Siddiqa. They will talk about sabr, patience.
Can you Nibras? Can you come forward, please? Nibras, you will talk about importance of salah. on the importance of prayer and its etiquettes within it. So first of all, I would like to start off with the meaning of um, prayer. Prayer is a way of communication between yourself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You may question, does Allah always listen to you and give an answer to your prayers? The answer is yes, Allah does listen to your prayer, but eventually you will see an answer towards it. And you also you are advised to ask Allah and thank Allah for the, for the wealth He has um, given you and the life He has blessed you with. Secondly, Allah, um, secondly, there are limited like, actions which require wudu. For example, one is doing performance salah. This shows how high authority um, praying salah is. Second of all, um, like previously, um, salah consisted of 50, and then Prophet Muhammad um, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went up to the heavens back and forth to change it, and every every time he went, he changed it, he minused it from five. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala minused it from five until there was a point where it, it, was, it only consisted of five, which is right now. Uh, girls class group 3, Sama, Sumaya, Mu'min, Maria and Nuha Ahmed. They will talk about good character and can you please keep, um, due to namaz time being close, can you please um, just give a summary and keep it short please, Jazakallah, on each topic. Abdul Jawad Kalam, can you come forward, please? Abdul Jawad Kalam, you will talk about good friends. And after this, we will have Hussein Ahmed, Nahid Ahmed Aziz, Tanvir Mu'min, Umar Alam, Hassan Ahmed, Sami Haq, and Hassan Muhammad to follow. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi amma abad. Assalamu alaikum, dear respected brothers and sisters of Islam. My name is Abdul Jawad, and today I'm going to be speaking about friends. Friends are an important part of our life as they contribute heavily in what we do and think. Uh, and we also need friends to communicate and have a better understanding of things. But what does Islam say about friends? Islam says a person is known by the friend that he or she has and therefore it is very important for every one of us to select their friends very carefully and make sure that they have not befriended with those who will have a negative impact on them. 
Once we obtain good friends, it is important to keep and maintain the friendship. Believers are connected by their love of Allah and his messenger. A person must be able to overlook some of the faults of his friends or sister in Islam. A blind, uh, uh, this doesn't mean that he should turn a blind eye to the sin. It means that you must maintain the ties of friendship while seeking the, to understand and help those who have gone astray. Hussein Ahmed, we will talk about greed. And then after this, Sadia Begum, Sunaya Hussein, Taslim Hussein, and Taslima will talk about repentance. Can we have them ready for now, please? Can can the girls class now, Sadia Begum, Sunaya Hussein, Taslim Hussein, Taslima, to talk about repentance? Then, inshallah, after them, Hussein. Hussein Ahmed, can you come forward please? You talk about greed. and his status in Islam. The main meaning, the, the true meaning of greediness is wanting more and not being satisfied with what Allah has blessed you with. It is normal for a man to desire more wealth but he should be content with what he has. The beloved Muslims are advised to control their desires as their greed for wealth makes them blind and in some cases overpower them until he cannot tell the difference between earning halal money and earning haram money. 
this is due to the fact that the only objective is to grow their wealth. The, quanti the consequences of this grave sin um, of earning uh, money in the Haram way is Jahannam. However, there is, um, there is hope of cleansing yourself from this sin, which is repenting. This is, there is a hadith where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, if, a, if the son of Adam possesses, possesses a value of gold, he would love to have two values, but nothing will fill his mouth except the soul of his grave. And Allah Azza wa Jal accepts the repentance of those who repent to him. The last sentence of this hadith points out the hope which you can cleanse, cleanse yourself by, repent, by repenting to Allah as Allah Azza wa Jal accepts the repentance of those who repent to you. Finally, I would like to end the speech by, by uh, explaining what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam meant when he said nothing will fill his soul um, except the soul of his grave. This means that the, nothing will satisfy the son of Adam until he is placed in his grave. The main meaning of this of this hadith is is once the son of Adam is being um, is placed is being placed in his grave, he realizes the object that his objective of growing his wealth is nothing but foolishness. I hope you I, I hope you have benefited from us. Jazakallah khaira. Nahid Ahmed Aziz. Nahid Ahmed. Do you have Nahid? Okay, Umar Alam. Umar Alam. Nahid. Sami Haq. Sami Haq. Okay, the final group of the girls, class Sadi Ahmed, Habiba, Mashuda Alam. They will talk about Laylatul Qadr. If you can start quickly. Zakmullah. Please, you talk about Sahaba. Adi Allahu Taala Anhu. Haliya Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Today I'll be talking about the Sahaba. The Sahabas were the companions of the Prophet Muhammad who had seen or met him at the time he was alive. Approximately there were over 200,000 Sahabas. The two, but today I will only be talking about two Sahabas, Abu Bakr and Uthman radiallahu anhu. <coughs> Abu Bakr was always very was always very close to the Prophet Muhammad. Such knowledge of the Prophet's message made him become a Muslim. When Prophet Muhammad told him what had happened at Mount Hira and what Allah had revealed him, he didn't stop to think. He became a Muslim at once and began to preach Islam to others. Um, among those who accepted the invitation were Az-Zubar, Talha, Tahan, Said ibn Waqas, Abu Abdul Rahman and Uthman. The second Sahaba I'll be talking about is Uthman radiallahu anhu. Uthman radiallahu anhu was Prophet Muhammad's third successor. He was known as the leader of the faithful and his, re and he, and his reign lasted for 12 years. The first six years of his reign were full of tranquility and peace while the last six years of his reign were full of internal conflict and chaos. Uthman is remembered as a pied, kind, gentle man and he is admired for his generosity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Okay, uh, can we have Jawad please to come forward? Inshallah, I will do recitation of the Quran. And all the girls to come in this line, please, from Maktab level level three, 
They will say hadith, Afsana Begum, Manha Islam, Maria Kalam, Rahma Bint Amin, Samia Hussein, Yusra Insan, Zehna Ali, Liana Ahmed. Can you all please stand up and come and join the line please? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها المزمل قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه قليلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إنا ناشرة الليل هي أشد وأطأ وأطأ ومقيلا الله أكبر Assalamu alaikum. Can you start with the hadith, please? Assalamu alaikum. I will be reading ten hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the meaning. Call the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. La taqadab. Do not get angry. Call the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. أكمل المؤمنين إيمانا أسنه خلقا. The most perfect belief and respect of faith is he he who is better than my manners. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أشهد السلام بينكم. Promote greetings amongst you. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما الأعمال بالنية. Actions are judged by their intention. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم المسلمون من سليم المسلمون من لسانه ويده المسلم يسير his hand and tongue the Muslim is safe قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الهياء شبهة من الإيمان modesty الهياء is a branch of faith قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم التهور شرط الإيمان Purity is half of a man. Call the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La yu'minuna ahadukum hatta yuhibbu liyakhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsihi. None of you believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Call the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Min husni islami al-mar'i tarukuhu ma la ya'nihi. A sign of a man to be observant of Islam is to keep away from which does not concern him. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'll be reciting hadiths of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kala Nubiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La ta'udab, do not get angry. Kala Nubiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Akmalul mu'mimina imanan asanuhum khuluqan. The most perfect believer in respect to faith is he who is best of them in manners. Kala Nubiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ashus salamu baynaku. Spread salam amongst yourself. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Topic I will be talking about today is السلام إن شاء الله. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أحشو السلام بينكم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, spread salam amongst yourself. Islam is a religion of peace and promotes peace and harmony between everyone. One way of building strong brotherhood between people is to spread salam. Salam has many virtues. It is a means of entering Jannah. One gets many rewards for spreading salam. Their best form of greeting is to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The meaning of Assalamu alaikum is peace be upon you.
اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صلى على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم يا رسالتي بدرس ان شاء الله today i'll be talking to you about death قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اكثر ذكر هذا من الذات frequently remember the joys of pleasure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the holy quran كل نفس ذائقه الموت every soul shall taste death everyone on earth will have to die it does not matter how old or young you are ever since i've heard this hadith i've always remembered that death can arrive whether you're ready for it or not this reality is inevitable and there's no escape from it as we know after اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته التوبه that we're talking about today is safeguarding your hands and tongue قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم المسلم من سلم المسلم بلسانه ويده فقال محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم said a muslim is he who stands in tongue the muslim is safe from a Muslim is a person who submits himself to Allah and as a Muslim we should refrain from harming others as it is for so disobedient. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم the topic that I'll be talking about today is intention قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said انما الاعمال بالنيات prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said actions are judged by the intention from this hadith we learn everyone performs actions but not all actions are rewardable for an action to be considered correct and accepted you must you must have the correct intention اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته The topic I'll be talking about today is parents. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رضا ربي في رضا والدي وسخط ربي في سخط الوالد. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the, the, the Lord's pleasure is in the parents pleasure the Lord's anger is in the parents anger. As Muslims one of our most important aims is to gain Allah's pleasure. This hadith tells us that this is dependent on your parents being happy with you as well. Parents being happy with you means that Allah will be happy with you. But if your parents are unha- unhappy with you, then Allah will be unhappy with you as well. But remember... Allah. Can we quickly call Nibras, Jawad and Abdul Muhaymi and they will say in a sheet for us. And then after this, inshallah, can we have in one line on my right hand side, Abdullah Muhammad, Aqib Yusuf, Ashraf Muhammad, Abdul Jawad Kalam, Abdul Muhaymi and Hassan Ahmed, Bilal Ali. For the Adhan group, can we have ready on my right hand side? The name mentioned, can you please stand up? And can you come on my right hand side, please make your line so that you're ready. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مولاي صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم مولاي صل لي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم محمد سيد الكونين وثقلين 
محمد سید الكونين واثق محمد سيد الكونين واثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم مولا يصل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم والحبيب الذي تجى شفاعته هو الحبيب الذي ترجى شفاعته هو الحبيب الذي ترجى شفاعته لقول حول من الاحوال مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبي بك خير الخلق كلهم مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبي بك خير الخلق كلهم جزاك الله خيرا The, uh, we will start to Azhar now. Can we have Abdullah Muhammad? And Ashraf Muhammad. Ashraf. fortunate to have amongst us the Imam of East London Masjid. Alhamdulillah, having 
honorable guest amongst us makes this gathering even more fruitful and more blessing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Started by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salatu salam to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Only three points. Number one, I, I would like to thank you everyone. Well done everyone, mashallah. I am so happy. Time didn't allow you, otherwise you can do more. And I believe that, alhamdulillah, you are learning something very fantastic and <clears throat> taking it very seriously to act accordingly in your next life, inshallah. Number two for Ustads, alhamdulillah, <clears throat> it is not possible for you to learn if your Ustad doesn't help you. Mashallah, you have very dedicated Ustad, very humble and very uh, strong in knowledge and also powerful character they have and that's why alhamdulillah they are giving that time and push you and force you to learn mashallah you are learning something very concrete islam i'm so happy because some people said here hadith how is possible because 10 12 hadith eight hadith mashallah memorized especially girls I'm surprised and also, mashallah, very happy. You are learning something very nice. May Allah bless you, inshallah, with your learning and keep learning, keep learning, inshallah, keep trying your best, inshallah. Third one for mosque committee and mosque imam, and especially the head teacher, Khatib Mawla Ta'ud Istamsab, mashallah, he is giving his effort. Uh, he is living in Menor Park. I saw he is here always. Why he is here? Because of you, because of you people who start giving his whole life. SubhanAllah, he is coming every weekend here for you people to make you good Muslim, to make you good civilian. It is his duty and he has taken a life challenge. MashaAllah, he is giving in his team, he is working very nicely, very humbly. I appreciate highly. Inshallah, my belief that Allah will appreciate highly as well. And Allah will give them high reward with Jannah and Firdaus, inshallah. Please, Mosque community providing all the facilities, subhanAllah. May Allah bless them as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and reward all of us, inshallah, here. Final one. Whatever you are learning, my parents here, my humble request would be for parents, please help your child accordingly to act at home. If they are learning and you are not helping them for action, then after a few days they will forget. So it is an amana from Ustad, from a teacher, from mosque, in your pocket, please, in your hand, to keep your, look after your children to do very well, to act accordingly, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all good deeds. Jazakumullah khairan. Barakallahu alaykum wa subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Nashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Shukran. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Okay. We're going to have our Salah break part 3, which is our final part, will be after Salah. We're going to have the main Quran competition from the Alim's class, boys class. Inshallah, everyone, please make sure that you stay and join in the part 3, Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.